right, look. We need to have a chat. Don't be embarrassed about this. This is this is a completely natural thing. Do not be embarrassed about this, all right? Two things come together in nature, completely natural habitat. Matt, you tell him. So you want to know how a bill becomes a law? Well, I... All right, look. You're growing up. You're growing up fast. You're not a kid anymore, okay? What I'm... Mm, what I'm trying to tell you, you got to stay clean, okay? You have to be clean above all costs, okay? If you're not, you're going to get in a situation where things get dirty. After a while, things might not even work anymore. Matt, tell them about not working. Matt, that's enough out of you. If you don't work, you're not going to produce. You'll never have anything in life. You're not a kid anymore. Look, Pitt, I'm just looking out for your best interest. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? Welcome to another episode of the 8-Bit Basement. I'm Joe, this is Matt, and um, yes, we are in a different basement from the last basement we were featured in. We do have 8-Bits playing in the background currently. That's Kid Icarus, better known in the NES world as Pit. We didn't, we didn't, we don't choose these names. I don't, I don't know why. But we do clean games, and as you're dealing with 30 plus year old game cartridges and contacts, it's really important to keep not only your game clean, but your console clean. One cleaning method we recently came across was that of a fiberglass pen. Voila, the fiberglass pen. Now, Matt, I know you've use this a little bit. Uh, how do you think this compares to other cleaning methods? Uh, this, is a, this is a new tool for me. Uh, Joe, mm -hmm. actually showed it to me. Uh, so far, pretty impressed. It gets a lot of the, the hard crusted on corrosion and dirt off of your pins and your really games. Important. Uh, some people I would think might uh, move more towards this away from something like a Brasso mm -hmm. uh, and all the other chemicals. Uh, but so far, so good. I've had a lot of success with it. Uh, I want to mention, we will uh, put the link for this in the description down below. Absolutely, and what we're going to do in this video is clean the car, just the fiberglass pen, well, maybe a little bit of alcohol, because who doesn't like a little bit of alcohol? We, we sure don't. I don't care for it. <laughs> Not at all. So... We're going to clean the cart, we're going to check out the fiberglass pen, and at the very end we will submit to you our review of, of how we think this cleaning method stacks up against other cleaning methods. And let us know what methods you might use uh, in, in the comments below. Absolutely. Stay tuned. Okay, step one, you're going to take apart your cart, which I've, I've already done off camera, and here is the board. On the board you will see residue on the contacts, and that's essentially what we're trying to clean off here with the pen. So let me show you the pen. You'll see it's a, it's a white fiberglass tip and we're just going to use that along the contacts as we go here. And you can just kind of go with the grain and light and gingerly because you can scratch if you go too far. Again here's a look at it nice and clean. Alright so I'm going really gingerly here and probably a little bit too gingerly and maybe I should consider hitting the weight room. You don't have to go that gingerly. But like I said, go nice and easy because if you do go too hard, you, you can potentially scratch the contacts. You don't want to scratch the contacts. So keep it simple. Go nice and easy. Take a look at the pen here. You see I do have some dirt coming off the contacts. And when I put the board up here, you'll see on the left hand side those contacts are a lot smoother, residue free, compared to the right side. I know it's a little tough to see, but that residue is there and that's exactly what you want to clean. Continuing on, and yes, we're still going gingerly. So just to confirm. Yep, 
Okay, I'm gonna flip over to the other side. I know, I'm doing it a little stronger now. I must have just, I got a quick trip to the weight room. You guys didn't see it, but it was good. All right, here's the other side. Again, look at the left side, you can see very little residue. Okay, finishing up, you can see how dirty the fiberglass pen is, meaning it's collecting all the residue, and we're heading in the right direction. So after finishing that up, flip it back over, apply contact cleaner, and I typically like to use a Q-tip, but you can use a rag, paper towel, anything that, that has a little bit of abrasion to it to get the remaining dirt left on the contacts. And again, you want to do that to both sides. Finished product, nice and smooth, contacts look good. Other side again, contacts are looking good. And we're about ready to put this back together. Using your game bits, again there's two different sizes, 4.5 millimeter, 3.8 millimeter. We'll put a link in the description to your game bits. But, and obviously these will work on multiple carts and if you're gonna be cleaning carts, you're gonna need these. All right, now that that's done, it's time to test the game out. First, we'll get a quick shot of my, my jacket there. And next, we'll head over to the N64, put this game in, and see what happens. Fires right up. That's what we'd like to see. And uh, it's time to play a little bit of uh, Super Smash Brothers. So Matt, what's your, what's your conclusion on this cleaning method compared to other cleaning methods that you and I both use frequently? I like it. I like it. I think it's good for seriously, seriously dirty pens and boards. Pen. Uh, I think I think it's a good tool to have in your toolbox. I think so too. But uh, you know, Matt, one thing for me, I'm I'm still on a team, and that team that's Team Brasso, my friend. Oh. Okay. And this is a product, it's a couple dollars for a bottle. A bottle, I haven't even gotten through a bottle yet, and I've been doing this over a year now. Uh, it goes a super long way, as long as you do it correctly. Now Matt and I are going to show another video where we clean a cart, we consider the right way, again using Brasso, using alcohol, Q-tips, cloth, uh, the whole nine yards. We'll make sure we, we get that video rolling soon. Um, just so you can see what you can pair this to. Um, I agree with Matt. I think the fiberglass pen is a, it's a solid addition to your toolbox. It's good to have. I think the best use for that pen would be something like an NES board and using it right where the 72 sure. pin connector is. Because that thing gets super gets dirty. Kicked on. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. Um, but so, uh, let us know what you think. Yeah. Uh, you saw the video. What do you think? You want to give this yeah. a shot? If you've already given it a shot and you've tried them. Let us know what you think of it, if you really like it. If you hate us for using Brasso, also leave those comments. Please we love to hate. Yeah. Keep that coming, too. Love to hate. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.